Hello everyone, uh, this is Mr. Obed and uh, I welcome to you in the apparel or garments computer edit design classes. Today I came to you with a very special class that is the L size women's shirt design with the help of computer edit softwares. So let me explain you about the some very important and essential drafting parts for these styles. So these are the as follows. Uh, first of all, there is the button down stand collars, collar and sleeves left and right and uh, left and right front parts and back parts, cuffs, placket and button stand plackets and pockets. So these are the basic parts which we will uh, first of all in this class we will draft the standards of all these parts and then in the next class means second part B of this class we will learn final development of the patterns and application of the some important seam allowances folding allowances and uh, other process so in this class we will use very innovative and easiest method to accomplish our designs these types of complicated designs in an easiest way so let's start first of all you have to observe this measurement charts and very important formulas are mentioned over here so you have to observe all the facts of these measurements and formulas very carefully and after that you can go to the further process so after you can pause the video and you can also all these measurements and very important formulas has been mentioned over here you can observe all these things carefully and after that you have to come to the next process so you have to go to the pattern design software you have to open that software after that what we have to do we have to go to the rectangle tools you have to come to the create menu rectangle and then you will see this is user input box menu you have to first of all activate the value it is already activated now you come to the work area in any way you have to left click over there then the length and width dialog box will activate it in that box this is x axis means length of your garments and y axis will define the width of your garment so first of all you have to come to the measurement charts and you can see what is the full length of your garment 70 cm and width of this garment is 45.72 cm as, uh, as a base and other things is the button stand line width and full base and full line width and all these things are additional so first of all we have to go to the here you have to put the full length of your garment as a 70 cm and come to the next width box and come to the calculator as you seen into the measurement charts as a 45.72 cm was the width divided by 2 and then ok now again we have to ok and now you have to give the name of your style nice garments as a uh, woman's shirt and then you have to go to the ok again right click and then ok now you can see that this is the outlines of this uh, stylized garments has been drafted now we have to position uh, the very important lines that is called the uh, waistline bust line shoulder line um, zai line and the center front neck and the center back neck lines so all these things we have to mention over here for that purpose we have to use the offset tools we have to left click over there and you come to this front line and then left click right click and then ok now you come to the measurement charts and you can see say front neck to waist length is 41.4 cm including pattern is so 41.4 cm we have to mention over here minus 41.4 cm again you can watch 41.4 cm minus and then ok right click and then ok 
Similarly, we have to use the offset. Select this right left and then OK. Now again, we come to the measurement charts and you can see uh, back neck waist length. So what is that? That is the 40.1 centimeter including ease. So we have to mention word 40.1 centimeter and then OK. Now this line has also been drafted. After that again we have to come to the waist line. This is called the waist line, waist line and left click, right click and then OK. Now we have to come to the measurement charts and we have to see what is the vertical length between waist to bust that is the half of the back neck to waist length we have to divide by 2 then it will come to the waist to bust length so 20.05 centimeter is that so we have to introduce over here we have to enter the distance of 20.05 and then hit the enter button right click and then okay now next very important thing is that first of all we have to go to the view zoom in and we have to zoom in this important point and after that fully zoomed in we have to go to the modify menu and we have to select the split and now we have to come to this very exactly perfect point and now we have to split at these positions similar way in the similar way we have to come to this point we have to go to the view zoom in this is our bust line we have to highlight this point we'll zoom in it after that modify and split exactly on the horizontal line to this point we have to split right click and then ok now we have to minimize it after that what we have to do we have to go to the verifying tools length line we have to left click right click and then ok now we can see that the length of this line is 20.05 centimeter so we have to draft the shoulder line for that purpose we have to go to the create offset we have to select this uh, bust line and we have to go to the calculator 20.05 we have to divide by 30 and then ok now ok so now we can see this is called the shoulder line has been drafted completely after that what we have to do now very important task is that we have to draft the center back neck line and the center front curve so for that purpose we have to go to the create menu and then we have to select the offset uh, first of all uh, what we have to do uh, we have to go to the two point now we have to come to this back neckline and come to this end point you have to press the left click and without releasing left click you have to press the right click and then you release both the clicks at a time now you will see that this arrow will activate and after that we have to come to the measurement charts and we have to see across shoulder so what is the half across shoulder that is the 19.4 centimeter so for that purpose what we have to do uh, we have to come to this box and go to the calculator 19.4 centimeter is that so we have to put here 19.4 divided by 3 and then ok you have to activate this cursor now you have to see you can see this is the uh, center back neckline position has arrived now we have to go to the left hand side 2.5 centimeter beyond so we have to introduce here uh, uh, enter the distance minus uh, 2.5 centimeter and then hit the enter button right click now we have to go to the view zoom in and we have to zoom in this special point and after that we have to go modify tools split and now we have to split horizontally at this intersection of these two lines right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the advanced tool uh, modifying tools and point line 
and we have to select this line and value you have to put over here end line now what we have to do we have to 19.4 centimeter is there the half across shoulder so similarly 19.4 divided by 3 apply plus 1 centimeter should be down apply and then ok now this distance has arrived like this right click and then ok now what we have to do again we have to go to the create two point and then left click drag and uh, you have to come to this value you have to convert to cursor and then we have to come vertical and again we have to change this one at this position right click and then ok now after that what we have to do now we have to draft the button stand line so for that purpose we have to go to the offset menu and we have to select this line baseline and then value you have to enter 1.87 you have to enter here 1.5 1.5 centimeter and then ok similarly again we have to select this line and we have to enter the distance of 1.5 centimeter and then ok so both becomes uh, after that this is your button stand line and after that we have to introduce over here the uh, again we have to introduce here 3 centimeter so for that purpose we have to go to the offset left click right click and then ok and now we have to introduce here uh, enter the distance of 3 0.5 and then hit the enter button right click and then ok now this is called the inf this is the over folding line this is the button stand line and this one will go inside as a facing info now what we have to do after that we have to merge uh, we have to go to the two point value Similarly, we have to join all this line like this. After that, in the same manner, we have to come to this right hand side and we have to join all this line. <coughs> now, what we have to do now, very important task is that we have to move draft the uh, we have to draw the center back neckline and uh, center front neckline so for that purpose we have to go to the two point curve and we have to select this and then we have to come to this end line and these positions and we have to draw back neck curve in this way in the same manner we have to select at this point and this point and we have to draw the front neck curve after making draft of these two lines right click and then ok now we have to draft the arm side line for that purpose we have to go to the offset menu we have to select this line right left right click and then ok now you have to come to the value and now let me come to the measurement charts and we can see what is the arm's eye bottom width so 10.9 cm is the arm's eye bottom width 10.9 cm so for that purpose what we have to do we have to go to the calculator And we have to enter 10.9 divided by 2 and then ok and we have to enter here minus and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we can see this is our arm side line has been drafted over here in the same way what we have to do we have to go to the two point and then we have to come to the arm side line and left click press the right click at a time both the click 
and again release both the clips. Now this measurement arrow will activate. Now you have to enter the distance of 2.5 cm and hit the enter button and then deactivate the value and now you have to join to this point. Right click and then ok. Now this is the shoulder line center pack. Shoulder line has been drafted. Now what we have to do very important things we have to go to the view zoom in and we have to zoom in this point go to the modify split now you have to split horizontally at this point right click and then ok and we have to scroll out it now what we have to do now we have to measure what is the actual length of the back shoulder so back shoulder length as per the measurement charts we can see here that uh, that is the shoulder length is total is uh, 13 centimeter uh, plus 1 centimeter is 40 including ease so for that purpose what we have to do we have to go to the uh, measurement charts and then we have to go to the modify point line and then we have to select cancel it again we have to point line and we have to select this point now we have to activate the value and come to this end line and we have to enter here for p and hit the enter button right click and then ok now the exact length of our back shoulder has been drafted now what we have to do we have to go to the create menu offset and we have to select the uh, bust line and we have to draw another parallel line minus one centimeter at this position and right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the verifying tools line length and we have to select this line right click and then ok now we have to go to the create to point and then we have to come to this arms eye line end and without releasing left click press the right click and then release both the clip now whatever the distance is mentioned over here 1.20 so we have to enter 1.20 and hit the enter button and then we have to left click to this point and then cursor activate after that you have to join at this position right click and then ok now we can see that the both um, shoulder line has been drafted for center back and center front now again we have to go to the modifying tools point line and we have to select this and we have to activate the value and we have to enter the distance of 40 centimeter as a shoulder length right click and then ok now very important things we have to draft the arms eye line go to the two point curve and we have to select back arm cycle and cursor now we have to join to this line and we have to draft a line like this in this way in the same way we have to select this line and then we have to join to this same point and we have to draft another line right click and then ok now very important things is that first of all we have to uh, what we have to do uh, we have to we will draft the sleeve pattern for the center back and center front separately so for that purpose we have to go to the dress and first of all we will dress the center back neck line back portion ok in this way and right click and then ok now we will select whatever essential lines is there all this uh, essential line we will select right click and then ok now we have to come to this yeah right click and then ok now we have to come to the annotations and do left click right click and then ok now we have to give the name as a back and default setting we have to enter 2 and then ok right click and then ok now 
in the same way we have to trace the front part so we have to select this outline of this front part in a clockwise direction and then right click and after that we have to select all these important line right click and then ok now we have to come to this place right click and then ok go to the annotations left right click and then we have to put the name as a front and default size you have to change as a 2 right click and then ok now what we have to do first of all we have to draft the sleeve pattern with the help of these two so let's come to this front part first of all now what we have to do we have to go to the two point and then we have to come to this point and we have to go to right click and horizontal and come to this value now we have to enter the distance of 9 minus 9 centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we'll go go to the verify line length and we can verify what is the exact length of this line now next very important things is that we have to go to the create point and we have to select this end line point and now at this end point right click and then okay now we have to go to the modify tools and then point line and we have to select this point go to the value and then come to this end distance box now we have to enter the length of our sleeve so you come to this measurement chart and you can see what is the sleeve length Full sleeve length is 57 centimeter so now we have to enter the distance of 57 centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the create two point come to this end point now we have to take a ideal line and then we have to draw like this go to the create the modifying tools point line and we have to select this and you have to activate the value now you have to enter the distance of 7 cm and hit that button right click and then ok now again we have to go to the create to point curve now we have to come to this end point right click and then come to this end box and then you have to enter the distance of uh, 2 cm and hit the enter button also activate now we have to join over here and like this we have to match it over here right click and then ok now we have to go to the modify tools curve left click and now you have to come to this point exactly and then we have to give a like this shape similarly we have to select this position at this point and we have to give a like this shape after making this shape we have to go to the smooth you have to go to the advanced uh, modif uh, verifying tools left click and you check what is the length of the center front arm side this is the 19.59 similarly you have to check this one how much is this this is the 20.53 so now we have to reduce this length for that purpose we have to go to the modify point line and now we have to select this line and then we have to go to the value and and we have to enter 19.59 19.59 and hit the enter button right click and then ok 
Now we have to go to the symbol point and we have to select this and value we have to change and we have to child it over here. But we have to enter the distance of 19.59 uh, and hit the enter button and then ok. Now what we have to do, we have to go to the single point and we have to select this one because uh, and now we have to join it over here. After making join of these things we have to go to the point line and then we have to activate the value and we have to enter here 7 and hit the enter button right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the create to point perpendicular online and we have to come to this end point we go to the measurement charts now we can see what is the width of the cuff now we can see that the width of the sleeve at wrist portion is 10.75 cm so now we have to come to this measurement charts and then we have to enter the distance of 10.75 cm so minus 10.75 cm and hit the enter button right click and then ok again we have to go to the two point and we have to deactivate the value and we have to join this line at this point right click and then ok now the front sleeve uh, draft has been completed now what we have to do we have to go to the center back next sleeve draft so let me uh, put the width of the cuff also so you come to the measurement charts and you can see the cuff width is 6.35 cm and then we have to go to the offset menu and we have to select this line and go to the value enter 6. Point, uh, cuff width 6.35 cm and we have to enter here <coughs> minus 6.35 cm and then ok right click and then ok now the cuff width has also been drafted so front sleeve has been completed now come to the back sleeve drafting so we will come to this back part and now we have to go to the two point and then come to this end line now we have to enter the distance of minus 9 same as uh, front and hit the enter button right click and then ok go to the modif verify line length and you can check whether it is 9 or not after that we have to go to the create two point and we have to come to this end line point and similarly we can join this over here right click and then ok you go to the modify point line and we have to select this point and deactivate the cursor now after that you have to come to this distance box and you have to enter the 57 centimeter as a sleeve length okay right click and then okay in the same way what we have to do we have to go to the create two point and from here we have to draw an ideal line over here and go to the modify point line select this point and then value and we have to enter here 8 cm and hit the enter button right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the create to point curve and then we have to select this and we have to go to this end point we have to enter here 2 and hit the enter button and we have to join it over here now after that what we have to do we have to go to the modify curve and we have to select this one and at this point right click and we have to like this curve shape we have to draft go to the smooth and in the same way we have to smooth it like this 
after making a smoothness again go to the curve and reduce breakpoint put here 10 into here and go to the curve and you have to select it and then select this one and reduce it like this again we have to reduce over here now go to the smooth and we have to select smooth and select this line in the same way and we have to continue we have to click tip of the shape now very important things is that we have to go to the verify line length and we have to select this back arm sign and we can check what is the length of this 21.9 centimeter is over here in the same way we have to select this one and here is 20.97 so for that purpose what we have to do we have to go uh, to the modify uh, point line and we have to select this point value and we have to enter here 21.92 21.92 and hit the enter button right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the create two point perpendicular online and we have to come to this end and we have to select the uh, what is the width of the wrist width of sleeve at least 10.75 centimeter so minus 10.75 centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then ok again we have to go to the two point and we have to come to this end deactivate the value and join this line at this position right click and then ok after that what we have to do now we can see that this is the center back neck sleeve has also been drafted over here after that you have to come to this is the center back neck sleeve draft and this is the center front uh, sleeve has been completely drafted both the things now we have to draft the uh, pocket positions so for that purpose we have to go to the view and zoom in and we have to zoom in this point after making zoom in this point we have to go to the modify split in a horizontal way we have to split at these positions and we have to come to the next point we have to zoom in this point also fully go to the split and we have to split at this point right click and then ok after that we have to go to the create two point and we have to select this one right click and come to this end point and we have to enter here 50 percent after that hit the enter button now you go to the vertical right click vertical and we can merge it over here right click and then ok now we have to go to the two point and then we have to come to this end we have to enter two centimeter and then right click horizontal value and you have to enter here 13.5 and enter ok similarly we have to come to this end and go to the vertical and we have to enter the distance of 12 and hit the enter button again we have to come to this and 13 point minus 13.5 <coughs> and hit the enter button right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to the two point and now here we have to 0 0.5 centimeter and hit the enter button or again we have to come to this end and we have to enter here 50 percent and hit the enter button okay now again we have to come to this end point here and come to this end box and enter 0 0.5 and hit the enter button right click and then okay now our pockets has all standards has also been completely drafted 
after that what we have to draft that is the color pattern so we have to draft the color pattern for that purpose we have to go to the verify line length and we have to select the length of this one center back and center front back comes after that we have to calculate it how much is that so after that uh, we can see this one is a uh, 18.08 cm is the length so you come to the measurement charts and now we come to the open color measurement so 18.72 cm is showing over here but come to the here so we have to draft the collar button down stand collar draft for that purpose we have to go to the create rectangle and activate the value left click and length you go to the calculator now we can see here 7.08 center back neck and we have to plus 11.10 front neck and then apply ok so total 18.18 cm and the width of the collar open collar we can see measurement 4.5 cm is over here now we have to enter here 4.5 and hit the enter button and give the name as a open collar select this end one come to the y axis and minus 2.5 cm hit the enter button again we have to select this one come to the y axis box and we have to enter here 1 cm and then 2 point come to the y-axis box minus 1 centimeter okay in the same way we have to come to this point y-axis minus 2.5 centimeter okay enter button similarly we have to come to this y-axis box minus 1 centimeter enter button now we have to come to this two point and we have to deactivate value and try this parallel line similarly over here after that we have to come to this end point and left right click both the a time and release and here into 50 percent and hit the enter button and vertical and join it over here right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to this two point again and we have to come to this end line and go to the horizontal and closer and we have to enter here 3 cm ok now what we have to do we have to go to the 2 point curve and we have to select this end point and we have to join over here and after that this curve should be like this after that we have to go again 2 point and we have to join this two. Okay, then you have to go to the modify point line select this end point go to the value and enter the distance of 10 cm hit the enter button right click and then ok again we have to go to the create to point curve and we have to come to this end point deactivate the value and now we have to give a curve shape like this right click and then ok in the same way what we have to do we have to go to point curve and come to this end point and then you have to join it over here and after that like this shape we have to it right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to draft the button stand line so for that we have to come to the two point here what right click in vertical and value you come to this measurement charts you can see uh, corner stand width is uh, total 4 cm so what we have to do we have to enter here minus 4 hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to come to this uh, our neck so we can see that uh, uh, what is the length of this one 
1.5-1.53 cm is this infold over fold line we have to already taken here so 3 cm we have taken so for that purpose we have to go to the modify point line we have to select this line and then come to the distance and here enter 3 and hit the enter button ok now we have to come to the create two point by perpendicular on line and we have to select this line here we have to enter minus 2 cm and hit the enter button now we have to come go to the two point curve and now we have to deactivate the value and join it over here now we have to draft this corner stand in this way if you want draw a line over here cancel it to point here also we have to right click and go to the vertical and value here enter minus 4 enter hermitic now we have to deactivate value and join it right click and then ok now what we have to do we have to go to point here we have to join it vertical and we have to join it over here right click and then ok now we have to go to the modify curve and then we can modify it as per our design right click and then ok now we can see that this is our uh, colors pattern has been standards has been drafted now what is the next standards we have to draft is that that is the placket of sleeve opening placket so we have to draft for that purpose again we have to go to the rectangle tools and now we have to activate the value left click over here and here the length of this the sleeve opening is 13 centimeter and the width is 8.5 centimeter and hit the enter button and give the name as a black right click and then ok now what we have to do come to this point so first of all we have to go to the offset menu and then we have to select this one here you enter minus 0.5 and hit the enter button in the same way we have to select this line we have to enter minus 2 cm hit the enter button again select this one minus 0.5 and hit the enter button come to this point left click right click minus 0.5 in fold centimeter and hit the enter button and select this one again minus 2 and hit the enter button now this one we have to select minus 0.5 into again we have to select uh, this one here we have to put minus 2 and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to come to the two point and select this one and we have to increase it 2.5 centimeter uh, top so we have to go minus 2.5 centimeter hit the enter button minus 2.5 and hit the enter button again what we have to do we have to come to this point and here also we have to enter minus uh, minus 2.5 centimeter and hit the enter button right click and then ok now we have to come to this point and deactivate the value and join this one. right click and then ok now we have to go to the zoom in first of all this point and we have to go to the modify speed and we have to split at this point in the same way we have to highlight this point and in a vertical line we have to split this line at this position right click and then ok now we have to go to the create offset and we have to select this line and we have to cancel it go to the offset select this line 
here enter minus uh, one centimeter uh, minus one centimeter and hit the enter button after that what we have to do we have to split at this position in the center point we have to go to the modify split in a horizontal way we have to split it over here and then we have to come to the create two point and from here we have to enter uh, onto this end box and enter 0 point 0 0.5 and hit the enter button deactivate the value and join this over here in the same way we have to join uh, we have to join this point and this point right click and then ok so now what we have to do we have to go to the modify point line and we have to increase it as a go to the value and you know, distance and we have to increase it to minus 2 centimeter and enter here similarly we have to select this one and go to the distance box and minus 2 and hit the enter button go to the create to point and we have to join this to point right click and then ok now my dear friends you can see that uh, all the patterns of this pocket has been standards of all these patterns has been drafted in the next class we will learn about the final pattern developments of these uh, stylized women's shirts final patterns development we will learn in the part 2 and then application of this some important allowances also we will learn i hope that this class will be very much helpful for you thank you see you in the next class